Yes. So let us see one more question uh, based on the acidity, uh, acidic nature, acidity of alcohols. So let us write the question. <coughs> Compare acidic strengths of primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. Suppose if this question is asked, right? How should I answer this question? Now, if they're not asking you like this in this way, like primary, secondary, and tertiary, if they're giving you an example, like if they're giving you some compound uh, which uh, acts as in uh, tertiary alcohol, if they're giving you some other compound which is basically suppose ethanol, right? Primary uh, alcohol, then also the answer would be the same. So let us write. So they've asked us primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. First, let me write primary here. Let me write secondary here. Let me write tertiary here. Fine. Let us see all the three. Primary alcohol, when I say OH group on one side, yes, carbon <coughs> and it has one alkyl group and two hydrogens, correct? In your secondary alcohol, when I speak, your OH group on one side, your say, one, al one alkyl group, second alkyl group and one hydrogen. When we come to tertiary alcohols, carbon with a functional group OH and all the three are alkyl groups, isn't it? Your tertiary doesn't have any alkyl uh, hydrogen group. All the three are alkyl groups. Now, now uh, what what do they say? When some some question is raised on acidic stem, that means this particular compound has to release H plus ion, which is adjacent to oxygen atom. So release of H plus ion makes it more acidic. Let us see the first case. Here you have only one electron releasing group. Electron releasing group. That means plus I effect. So plus I effect plus I inductive effect is only there's only one uh, alkyl group which is releasing in this case you have so you have <coughs> alkyl group only one here how many alkyl groups do you have you have two alkyl groups here how many do you have you have three alkyl groups so what happens is here also this is donating this is also donating but when it comes to tertiary alcohol, you have three alkyl groups which are continuously donating electrons or releasing electrons towards carbon. When something is releasing electrons around carbon, so what happens to carbon? This whole electron density is further pushed on to oxygen. This oxygen has a certain amount of electron cloud formed around hydrogen oxygen. When lot of electrons are accumulated around oxygen, is there any requirement for oxygen to drag this electron from hydrogen? Not possible, not required because already there are a lot of electrons or electron cloud which is accumulated. So what happens here due to three alkyl groups and plus I effect, electron cloud density, where is electron cloud density increasing? Here, around oxygen increases now then when electron density increases what is decreasing polarity decreases it will not break up into minus charge and plus charge so polarity decreases when polarity decreases acidity increases or decreases obviously it is understood acidity decreases it will not donate h plus ion so what should i write in the final order remember you have to write <coughs> primary is easier it easily donates right so it is less fine means it is it, it can easily donate electrons secondary then difficult tertiary that means here i can easily pick up easily participates it's difficult to break it's very difficult for me to break here so easily it can clean difficult to break so this is the order so this is primary alcohol for me very easy tertiary alcohol very difficult to break and pull out this h plus ions